I cannot wait for our trade deadline special on Thursday. Does that take and give you? I don't like it. He doesn't like it. No. I think we should make it six hours. I think we should make it a full day. ESPN. How many of those over. hours are you going to work it? I, I've been trying to negotiate it down, but right now I, I've negotiated it to four hours. Oh, okay. I, I appreciate <laughs> that, Richard. Uh, Mike Golden State be one of the teams that is active at our trade deadline Ooh. right now. They are in 11th place. They were in Brooklyn last night with a trio of Steph, Clay, Draymond. They picked up their 500th win together. Only the ninth trio ever to do that, right? So here is how it happened, Richard. Watch Jonathan Kaminga here. Posts up. Mm. And then hits a nice little jumper. That's tough, man. He needs more space. Look, this is the thing. When you get when Kaminga starts to improve his basketball IQ, which he has all season long, they become a much more dangerous team. That just doesn't. I mean, the physics of that Steph shot don't even make sense. Steph Curry, this is his bread and butter at this point, Austin. Off a step back. People don't understand how difficult that is to do a step back from that deep. Over Claxton. Over Claxton. <laughs> Claxton. That is nuts. Warriors up by 10. Steph. Low English. On the inside right there. And then just over two minutes to go here. Finds Draymond. Draymond once again finds Kaminga for a little baseline dunk. And then under two minutes to Ooh. go here. Warriors up. Ooh. Curry. Hits the floater. <laughs> Warriors win 109-98. Kaminga had 28 points, 10 rebounds. Curry had 29 points, 5 rebounds. Yeah, that yeah, stuff. So. What are they talking about? You ain't played to finish the game? I got to finish the game five of the finals. Who the f cares? Well, I haven't asked that yet, but I will now. If you know. Huh? I said I haven't asked it yet, but I, I Oh, can't. you feel like you're about to. So yeah. I answered it for you. All right. Uh, I mean, you obviously you didn't close tonight. That's obviously going to be a story. I mean, it's all good. Yeah, these guys play great. Gabe yeah. played great. PP, Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah. Day, oh, winning trips all. Yeah, is this is this an adjustment period for you a little bit? I mean, he's done it a few games, obviously. Yeah. yeah. You kidding me? Go yeah. from you know, one of the best players. It's hard for anybody. No doubt. I'll be honest with you. So this was the fifth time Clay was subbed out in the fourth quarter and did not play in the final five minutes of clutch time under Steve Kerr. Four of them, they have come this season, and then the other came in January of 2022. That's when Thompson was returning from his multiple injuries, if you remember. Um, this is kind of tough. It, it felt a little bit, it's not, I'm wrong? No. No, it, it is tough for a player. It's, it's tough. That's, like that's you said, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, that's why it is tough. It's tough as a player, but I, I stand by this. There is, a, there is his, his ability has gone down, but I think Clay's not happy. I think that's what you can see, a lack of joy in his face. one of the most raw post-game interviews I've seen in 20 yeah. years. I wouldn't go, come on, bro, let's not over. 20 years. 20 years, hey. 20 years but he I hear said you, that. You, I hear what you're 20 saying, 20 years, though. Brian. Do you see what he's, I mean, basically, he in front mm. of us is coming to terms with the fact that he's on the downside of his career. He's, you know. You think he just now realized that in that moment? Well, I, I think openly, this is from the outside looking in, just from the outside looking in, right? And I, I've never been in your guys' shoes. But Clay Thompson has been someone who has been honest with us time and time again. And I don't know a player who necessarily wears his identity so wrapped up in this and shares it with us the way that he does. And so to see that happen in real time, I kind of, it felt to me, it's happened multiple times a season where he's been benched on the stretch. Somehow it felt worse and maybe a little bit more critical in last night's game. Yeah. Look, if you look at his stats, he is averaging 17 points. He's shooting 37% on threes on high volume. He's still a better than average defender. There are teams out there that would kill for a player like that. Amen. He is an excellent, you know, key player. He's just not a superstar anymore. Yep. So that happens. Richard at one time was a 25-point-a-game score. At the end of your career, you came to the seventh man. Yeah. Like, okay, it happens. It just doesn't always happen when we've watched these three guys win 500 games. So we have seen him win 500 games, and it's happening as his emotions are pouring out of him in front of us on TV. It's not a rare thing. It's just something that we don't get to see very often. My thing is this. One of the other trios was Manu, Tony, and Tim. We saw Tim actually, or we saw, we saw Tony actually leave the team. We saw Manu become a shell of who he was, but they had other players around. You had Kawhi, you had other guys. Look, this is a part of basketball. I understand it is a vulnerable place to say this. I don't, Clay's averaging 17 points a game at, on 37%, and Clay's not happy. Clay doesn't have a contract. In my opinion, if Clay had gotten that contract done, you could up the points by two, you could up the percentage yeah, by maybe. two, because he's in a much better place. So all of this is not just, 
on Clay and how he's playing. Mentally, Clay's not as sharp. And that's part of what you're talking about, the drop down and, and this. But part of it is because he's not happy. And he's been upset for a very long time that this contract hasn't gotten done. And it doesn't help when you see other contracts like Draymond. Not that they're tied together, but you see Draymond get I'm his tied deal. Together. And, well, I'm saying you see Draymond get right. his deal, then they offer you deal. You don't feel like it's your value. Like you said, there's a lot of teams that would love to have high volume at 37 Yeah, but not at 40 million a year. I'm just, I don't know what the number was. Well, at, least, at, least, now. at least this isn't the you know a new situation for him in terms of having struggles. He's had he's I don't want to say notorious, but he's had plenty of seasons where he's had slow starts. He's had slumps that have gone for a long time. 37% is not terrible, especially for a guy that could go like we know two three weeks where he's hot and gets his percentage up to the 40s again. Yeah. Completely capable, uh, and he's he would be an asset on just about every competing team in the league. All of them would like a guy like Clay Thompson. So right. you got to understand their situation, their playing style has changed. Kaminga, the way he scores, it's different traditionally. He's new gen scoring the way they score. It's yep. not the traditional ball movement, uh, Spurs Warriors style mm -hmm. basketball. So there are a little bit of changes that could be affecting his play right now, and his name has been in the trade talks. For right. the very first time, which is very new for him in terms of serious at this level. And, you know, this is a new adjustment for him. He's going to have to just kind of just play. Well, but, that, but that's kind of the, the point, right? Is it? yeah, he's gone through this before. He's gone through slumps. Maybe it hasn't extended this far. Maybe it hasn't been one of the worst shooting seasons of his career, which this has been, right? Even though it's by his standards, yep. right? Not by the rest of the exactly. league. But the Warriors are not playing good basketball they are losing when Steph Curry is scoring 60 points and so that's when all this becomes a little bit more acute and we're 48 hours away Which from the is trade why day. if Steve Kerr feels like he's got to bench clay and play Guy Santos which is what ended up happening last night right. to get a win he's got to do it mm -hmm. right that's what's got to happen but now that we're 48 hours away from the trade deadline I do not expect to see clay Thompson oh god no no, no, we're, no we're not going you don't, there no, no you don't trade clay Thompson there we go no. yeah so what are the Warriors going to do? So I, I know there's been some discussion about there about whether they could trade Chris Paul. I, I don't think that's going to happen. I, I do think Andrew Wiggins, and for also Jonathan Kaminga's playing the best basketball of his career. They've boosted his, his playing time by about eight minutes a game over the last 10 games. He's pretty much untouchable right now. I think it's like, it's like Steph and Kaminga and then everything else. Yeah. I think Wiggins is the piece if they can find something. But Wiggins is having his or arguably yeah. the worst year of his career. He's in the first year of a four-year, $108 million <laughs> contract. This is not when you trade somebody. Yeah. Right. Um, like they could do a trade, but I don't know if it makes sense. So, I, I you know. You just hope he plays better the kind of the second half season I build know, up it's his It's not something you want to hear if right. you're a Warriors fan. You say, take action, but inaction might be the best yeah. course. They're, I agree. They're, they're in a bad spot. Look, we, we can't gloss over the fact Kaminga has played well of late, played best basketball. But they missed out on a big opportunity in that draft. Mm -hmm. In that draft, when it was Wiseman, Kaminga, these guys have not panned the way they should, and those were supposed to be the guys that ushered in that new generation of Warrior right. basketball. And well, they have four rings. Let's not. I mean, let's. So let's not. Yeah. Gloss. just fine. They have four rings. And Clay has four rings. They're doing just so, fine. Yeah, but Clay exactly. will be the first person to tell you that taped up in his locker is every single person who has won five rings from a San Francisco Chronicle article. He still has that. He still looks As at that. He should. And, and he's he got four rings and tens name. of millions of dollars. He wants He'll to see okay. his. I Name. I know, but he wants to see his name there, and we want to see the Golden State Warriors in action, which we will in our NBA Saturday primetime matchup on ABC and the ESPN app. Devin Booker and the Suns, they take on Steph and the Warriors at Chase Center. Coverage tips with NBA Countdown at 8 Eastern. Whole lot of buckets. Whole lot of buckets.